Hello, hello. Welcome to another haul video. I'm really excited to show you guys what I picked up. It's a good one. Um, if you're new here, my name is Danielle. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. So basically what I do is I primarily go to the outlets and I pay by the pound for clothing, shoes, accessories, sometimes stuffed animals, and I flip it online for profit. And I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I've been reselling for about seven years now and it's definitely my favorite thing to do. So we're going to jump into this haul. I'm going to tell you guys kind of what I paid for everything. So I got 51.4 pounds and I paid $71.96. I got 43 items. So that's $1.67 per item. That would be my cost of goods per item. Um, and then for shoes, it's $3.34 per pair of shoes. So keep that in mind. I really love the bins because it keeps my cost of goods so low and it allows me to pick up items that I wouldn't want to pick up at a regular Goodwill, say for $6.99, $7.99 and only flipping it for $20. I would rather buy it for $1.50 and flip it for $20. It's just, I just love to see how much I can flip those small items for. So small priced items for. Okay, first up, I'm gonna do shoes. So we've got these Teos, this is the brand. These are just some wool embroidered clogs. They're so cute, so cute. And these are actually um, really in style, number one. Um, number two, they are reselling for quite a bit. So these ones I have listed for 70. Um, previous ones, the same colorway embroidered floral print, they also sold for that like 60 to $80 range. So these are listed, they are a size 38. Next are these Nike Air Max. I've never bought the bubble. <laughs> as soon as I found these, I like squeeze the bubble like a lot of resellers do in their videos. So, um... Yes, we'll see how these do. They're women's, they're a size nine, I believe. 10, women's 10, they're in really good shape. I have them listed for 40. Not as popular as the other like Nike Air. I don't know which styles they are that are so popular and, and uh, reselling for a lot of money, but there are some out there. So always be on the lookout for those. These are Miss Moo's. I've never seen a pair of their flats, but these are so cute. They're just all leather flats. And these actually sold yesterday for $30. So cute. And then last for shoes are these Dansko clogs. They're so precious. I'm trying not to say so cute. I have a problem with just everything is so cute, you know? These are size 41 in really good shape. And these are listed for 60. Okay, next I found one purse and it's amazing. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Even the little balls have little shimmer sequins on them. Um, as soon as I saw this, I thought that this had to be designer. It just looked so cool. Made really well. It's by Mimi Moulton, which I'm not really gonna be able to show you guys the tag, I don't think. But either she does not make anything anymore. I could not find barely anything on this designer, this purse. There's one other one listed. It's like a green checkered. Um, but other than that, I could not find much on this designer. But this is made really, really well. It's just a structured purse. It's hard. It's, it's really, really cute. And with the checker print, it's so on trend with the sequins. I have it posted for 50 and I'm really hoping to sell it because somebody needs this in their life. Okay, next up, these were really cool. <laughs> um, I found this guy from Lady and the Tramp. These are Disney vintage. Well, this is a Disney vintage Lady and the Tramp and I only found one. And I went to go check out and the cashier that checked me out, she said, do you want the other one? And I said, yes, <laughs> you know where 
where the other one's at. So she had the other one like at her till, like as a decoration or something, and she gave it to me. So I have both of them. They're so cute. And their little tails connect. It's so precious. Um, these sell for a pretty penny. Others have sold for 100, 120. I have mine up for 120, I believe. And I'm just gonna see what I get, but they they have a few watchers and I love them so much. So cute. Okay, now we're gonna jump into clothes. I have quite a few clothing items. First up is this moth anthropology, like a chunky knit sweater. I think I need to refocus or re position myself so you guys can see. Okay. This is just a chunky knit sweater. I need to sweater shave it really bad, but it's a newer moth style and I have it listed for 35, hoping to get between 20 and 30 for that one. This is a Maeve Anthropology, which I told myself I wasn't gonna pick up this brand anymore, but here we are. <laughs> Um, this is posted for 20. I'm not even expecting, I'm probably going to get between 10 and 15 for this. Honestly, a lot of my anthro pieces just sit, especially the basic t-shirts. I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, they don't move very quickly or for very much. But when I see them at the bins for a dollar, I really, it's so hard for me to leave them behind. Okay. Next up is a free people. Very cute. I forgot what this texture is called. Can you guys see that? I've sold this sweater once before. It was like a neon yellow. And then this is a neon pink. It's so cute. This one I'm expecting to get between 20 and 30. <laughs> Some pink Victoria's Secret sweatpants, which these are in really, really great condition, which is the main reason why I picked them up. I do not normally pick up pink but I'm trying to put more items in my store that are in the $20 range that sell, that have a high sell through rate. So if I can list these and they sell within a month, I'm totally fine. Like I'm happy to pick them up. I just hate sitting on things that sell in that $20 range and sitting on them for months and months and months. So that's my goal is to pick up a few more items in that range that I know will generate income quickly. In Victoria's Secret Pink, the sell-through rate is crazy on that stuff, so I'm hoping those go soon. This is a new brand, but I really, I just like the style of it. Oarsman. Um, this is just a kid's crew neck sweater for the Huskies. I forgot which college it is or what state. Oh man, I don't remember. I, I'm not, it's not the Washington Huskies. It's a different Huskies and I cannot remember which one it is. Um, but this is just a youth, let's see, I think that's small. Youth small, I think it's 100% or yeah, cotton poly blend. But I just thought it was a cute little crew neck for a kid. And next up is flax, which is kind of like a linen, lag and look brand. This is a smaller size, so it may sit for a little bit longer, but this brand used to sell a little bit better for me, but now it's, it kind of sits around a little bit. This is just kind of like a tunic top. Super cute. That one is listed for 30, so I'll probably get between 20 and 30 for that. This one has already sold. It's a Robert Graham corduroy uh like blazer jacket it's very very nice and this sold for a hundred last night actually so i had it listed for 140 and someone offered 70 and then i countered with a hundred and he accepted so i'm really excited that that one is going out these ones were very very fun to find because they were disgusting. <laughs> These are Lululemon's, uh, like a men's just chino pant. Um, there were two of them. I sold one already, but you guys, when I found these in the bins, they were right on top of each other. They were folded up 
but they were covered in dog hair. Just filthy. Like I have no idea where they had been. It was crazy. And I knew that they were Lululemon. I could see the tags and everything. So I just picked them both up and like put them under my cart. <laughs> they were that dirty that I didn't want them to touch anything else. Um, but I got home and I washed them and they're completely fine. No stains, no nothing, very little wear. So I don't know where they had been, but they're clean. Um, these ones are listed for 60. The other ones sold for 55, I believe. Those sold last week. This is a new brand to me, Savannah Jane, but it does have the embroidery, which I will generally pick up everything that has a nice embroider to it. This is so pretty. Um, I believe this is just a boutique brand. I don't think it's Anthro. No. So yeah, it's just a boutique brand, but it's so cute. And I have it posted. The There were quite a few, they had a pretty good selfie rate. So it has a following. And that was another reason why I picked it up. So I could just tell that the people that were buying this brand, they were buying the embroidered stuff. So this one is listed for 25, I believe. Okay. This is a new to me brand as well. Dehen? Dehen? I have no idea how to say that. It is a Portland-based brand, and it's very, very expensive. This t-shirt, the t-shirts obviously aren't as expensive. I have this listed for 40 which I guess for a used t-shirt, that is pretty, a pretty good price. But um, their jackets, their sweaters, anything like that goes for quite a good amount. So keep your eye out for this tag, this brand. It's my first time finding it, but I could just tell that it was, you know, good quality, anything made in the USA or um, just 100% cotton. I always look it up to see if it's, if it's anything good. <laughs> this is a brand I generally always pick up, untuck it. It doesn't flip for much, maybe 20 for this. It's just a men's kind of like a sage green button front shirt that should go for about 20 25 this was a new to me brand too I have no idea how long it will sit but it's Rourke it's kind of like a tactical cargo short for men um sorry my nose is itching <laughs> I've never seen this brand, never picked it up, but comps looked pretty good and it was in that $20 to $30 range. So I'm these this is one of those ones that I'm trying out. And this is also a new to me brand. A firm. It is a long maxi dress, size 2X. And it's mesh. It's completely mesh, like a bodycon dress. It's really pretty. It's a floral print. These go new a tag. They have a certain style of their mesh dresses that it uh, resells for quite a bit. I couldn't find this exact style anywhere, like on eBay or Poshmark, that anyone was trying to resell. So I have no idea what this is going to go for, but I have it listed for 50 and I'll probably end up getting maybe like 30, 35. This is a brand I've sold before. It's kind of hit or miss, but it's Aventura's Day. I'm butchering that. Sorry. <laughs> Aventura's Des Toiles. Toiles? I don't know. Um, it's very like art to wear kind of style it has this on the front and the back it kind of reminds me of oh my gosh now I can't think of the name it's escaped me but this is a size 38 I have this up for 40 um yeah it, it's hit or miss the comps were all over the place some of the dresses were selling for like 70 and then some were selling for 20 so I have no idea what what that one will go for. So we'll see. 
This is a new tag, which is the main reason why I picked it up. They're just a pair of Old Navy skinny jeans. They are a tiny, whole, tiny zero. So they may take a while to sell, but they're new tag. There are plenty of size zero people in the world and they were at the bends. So we will see how they do. <laughs> Old Navy usually does pretty well. I was so shocked because I cleaned out my closet recently and I wear a lot of Old Navy. Everything that I listed had sold within like a week. I couldn't believe it. It was so strange. I was like, oh, these are gonna take forever to sell. Who's buying Old Navy? But apparently people are buying Old Navy. <laughs> these are um, Andy Davis Billabong. It's a collab. I don't normally pick up Billabong. But since it was a collab, I ran comps and comps looked pretty good. So I wanted to give these a shot. I think I have them posted for 25. Um, maybe I have them posted for 30, but I'll probably end up getting about 20, 25 for these guys. I always check comps on collabs because that's usually a more popular line. This is a cloth and stone, new tag, extra small, super pretty button print. It was, um, I did steam it, so it was not wrinkly before. It has a super cute shimmery, like metallic stripe down the side. This one I have posted for 30. Here is another embroidered piece. This one is made well. It's so cute. I love it. Um, I have this one posted for 20, I believe. I'm not expecting much for it, but it was way too cute. I love anything embroidered. This is a Hannah Anderson. Just a super cute little girl's dress. It's kind of giving me Christmas vibes. Um, nobody bought it for Christmas, so maybe Valentine's Day, first day of school sort of thing. I just thought it was so cute. It is a size 8, I believe. It's a 130, so I think that's a size 8 in um, Hannah Anderson's eyes. Next is French Mauve. This is new with tag, and it's Stitch Fix, which is the main reason why I picked this up and even ran comps on it. Um, this is a super popular style of jacket. It's a tunic blazer. It's a stretchy, super comfortable. It's very, very cute. And they're selling on their websites for I think 80 to 90. This has two watchers already. Anything Stitch Fix, I always look up just to see because sometimes people will get them in their Stitch Fix box, but they don't want to spend what that was $90. So They've tried it on, <laughs> now they know they like it and then they can just buy it um, on eBay. <laughs> this is a Nike Oregon Ducks pullover. I just thought this was really cute. It's in really good condition, size small. Some college girl would really like this or her mom. <laughs> it's really cute. I have this posted for 25. Next up are these Metalita. I'm probably saying that wrong. This is a scrub line. These are just a really nice pair of scrub pants. They retail for, I want to say, 50. I have mine up for 25. They are black size large, I believe. Yes, size large. Um, I love picking up figs. These definitely remind me of figs and I think this is a newer scrub brand. So I wanted to give that a try. This is a Lululemon men's polo. Very stretchy, very nice, cool like camo digital print. It took me at least two minutes to find this Lululemon dot. <laughs> That's the only thing that was on it. You can barely even see that. I don't know why I'm showing you, but there it is. <laughs> I knew it was Lululemon. I knew it just based off of the buttons and just their seams. Everything is, everything is so nice. 
So this one is up for 40. Um, no size tag, but I was guesstimating a medium, men's medium. These are new tag can can jeans. I keep hitting my camera. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Um, these are a size one, 24. They're super cute. They have the plaid knee rips there. And then the lining on the inside is plaid too. At least the cuffing is plaid. I have these up for 30. I pick up can can generally, um, mostly the larger sizes. Um, but since this was a new tag, I definitely didn't want to leave it behind. These were also new a tag. These are Bowden. Just some really pretty, like a Kelly Green career pant. I love these so much. They're a size, I think two. Where are you? Oh, duh. They're a size four, four petite. Um, I have these up for 45, I believe. So I'll probably get around 30 to 40. This was another one of those $20 buys that I'm hoping will flip soon. It's just a Portland Timbers Adidas kind of jersey or track jacket. Nice. I've sold this one multiple times and it did sell, I, I mean, not super fast, but within a month or so it was sold. So. I thought I would give it a try. I think it's a small. I keep forgetting to tell you guys sizes. It's a small. So all of these items are um, posted in my Poshmark closet and on my eBay, which the link is below in the description. You can click on that. If you see anything you like, check it out. Um, feel free to make an offer. I am open to all offers, so I will not be offended. Um, this was a new to me brand, Martine Rose, which is like a streetwear. I think that's what that, I think that's what it is. It's just, um, a really cool, funky shirt. The only thing that was wrong with it is this on the side is peeling. It's supposed to say Martine and it's kind of like lifting up. So whoever were to buy it, they could peel it off and it would be totally fine. But I have this up for 80. And it is a small, men's small. It's made really nice. And um, anything that anything that looks funky like this, I always look it up. I just went to the bins yesterday and I found more funky stuff. <laughs> Things that I've never heard of. And I looked it up and sure enough, they were like really good brands that go for quite a good amount. It blows my mind that, you know, anytime I see something new, I just look it up and I'm like, wow. I can't even believe that that is sold for that much. And then I can resell it for this much. That's probably my favorite thing. <laughs> um, this is O'Neill of Dublin. This is just a tartan plaid pleated skirt. Um, I thought these were gonna, when I first checked comps, I was looking at maybe one that was listed for so much. One of these on there is listed for like 120. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm getting it. <laughs> That's, I'm sold. Um, and then when I got home, I did more research and I realized that it'll probably only sell for maybe like 40. So mine is up for 50 and taking comps. I think it was a size eight, if anyone is interested in a tartan, in a plaid skirt. Yeah, it's a size eight, but I believe it is vintage. It's 100% wool, so. Um, sizes do run a little bit smaller. This is a J. Crew kind of plaid button up shirt. It's very uh, shacket esque. It's kind of like a thicker plaid, I think, or material. I think it's 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton. And I just love these colors. It's like a blue and a like a burgundy. So pretty. I thought it would be really cute for winter. This one's up for 20, so not a lot. Okay, two more items and then we're done. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you've made it this far and you enjoy these haul videos. It really helps me kind of like keep making them. Um, 
because I like to make them. So I hope you guys are enjoying them. So thank you so much for watching. Um, this is the Black Dog, which is a brand I've never heard of, but it was made really nicely and I decided to look it up and they do, they don't sell for too much. This one I think I had posted for 30, but they, um, sell pretty quickly. So I wanted to pick this up. It is a size extra large. It's just like a thermal with this cute little lab. Okay, last is a pretty good one. Jack Wills. This is a US size eight. It is a tweed women's blazer jacket. It's really, really cute. And it's lined on the inside, so no itchy and scratchy. <laughs> um, these resell for quite a bit. And this had, this was in a bin that was completely like picked over. So as soon as I felt it, I was like, this has to be, this has to be good. Um, but this is listed for 120. Um, quite a few others have sold in that like 80 to $150 range. So I, I put mine at 120 and we will see what we get. But that is it. That is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Again, I thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, say hello in the comments. I will say hello back. I really appreciate you being here. Um, I will catch you on the next one and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.